Hey everyone, I'm Bruffy 1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest supercars video where I show the best fully upgraded supercars in terms of lap time. For all the information you need about this series, check that original supercars video, but otherwise let's see where the new Tyrant falls into that list. And again, it's another one of these cars from the Super Sport series update that suffers from these new handling flags that I've talked about in previous videos. And it comes into 16th place overall. It's actually the best performing uh, supercar that we've had from this Super Sport series update. But yeah, 16th overall, a 101.463, only a few hundredths of a second quicker than the Nero in 17th, and a few hundredths of a second slower than the Tyrus in 15th. So the, the Tyrant has an incredible amount of grip. It's very, very good. It's got good downforce, good grip, good cornering speed. Um, it doesn't have that great of an acceleration, but its top speed isn't too bad either, which we'll see from the top speed testing video. But again, it suffers from these brand new handling flags which make these cars slower over bumps, so it's not a pleasant thing to drive in the city. I've talked about that in previous videos, and I'll link a video that explains what's happening with these new cars down below in the description. But yeah, because of that, it really does you know, suffer in terms of lap time. Without these new handling flags, it would probably be somewhere around the top pace, you know, with those top four supercars. Maybe not quite, you know, perfectly on their pace, but at least it would be uh, around that area. And, you know, on a flatter circuit, it will be more competitive, even if it isn't going to be, you know, up with the levels of the Wagner and the XA21 and the RE7B and all that kind of stuff. So it's not in that range of the top four supercars, certainly. As you'll see from the comparison here, it does kind of get left behind by the Wagner, which most things do these days. But um, yeah, it, it, it does suffer obviously from these new handling flags, making it not a pleasant way to thing to drive on the road in the city. And it, it obviously makes it slower as well. So it does have good cornering capabilities. It's just, you know, not quite there with the top four. It is very well balanced with the, the rest of the supercars, if you like, though, you know, behind that big four, you know, that there's the top four in the supercars class. And then behind that, there's a huge group that are all very, very close together in terms of lap time. As we've seen, you know, even 17th, 16th and 15th places are separated by just over half a hundredth of a second. So it is very, very close in that pack. It's just that the tyrant is you know, nowhere near on the pace of the top few supercars. And as I've covered in obviously the original supercars video, which lists every single supercar in the game, for racing purposes, the Wagner really is all that you need. At this point, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already for new testing videos every Thursday and update videos when new cars are released and check out other classes in the playlist. And we will be seeing the Dominator GTX on Thursday with the rest of the muscle cars class. So we'll have one video on Thursday that contains every single muscle car in the game along with the Dominator GTX as well. So keep an eye out for that. But for this video, that's pretty much it. Remember to read the description for more info, comment with your thoughts, like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful, subscribe for more and consider supporting on Patreon. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.